سورة التين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والتين والزيتون وطور سينين وهذا البلد الأمين لقد خلقنا الإنسان في أحسن التقويم ثم رددناه أسفل سافلين صدق الله العظيم This surah is also philosophically and psychologically very important surah of the Quran. A sensible and sensitive person who has that moral law within him active, when he sees to the world before him, he's grieved. All human beings lying very low, Nobody having any high ambition of Allah and Akhirah. Everybody running, running, running after this world. The pleasures of this temporary world and temporary life. And then all types of mischief. Cheating, lying, defrauding. What is this? Does man have nothing in him except evil? Perhaps man is evil through and through. Nothing high in him. And to this testify all the schools of thought of psychology of today. What are the motives? All are very low, very mean. According to Freud, it's the sex, nothing else. Even the love between mother and our son is sex. Father and daughter is sex. It's all suppressed sex that takes these forms. Somebody is giving a sermon. It is a suppressed sexual desire. That he is, you know, fulfilling in this way. Someone is saying the only motive in man is to get domination, urge to dominate. And Marx said the basic is his financial need. Anyone who says that man has some high thing in him. On the other hand, Darwinian theory says man is only an animal, slightly refined animal. All these things you know, have come together to disappoint man from man. There's nothing good in man. In this background, this surah comes up in front. No, no, no. Man was created. At a very high level, very high level, very high level. Quran says, we ordered all our angels to bow before him. I created this man with my both of my hands. But all this, you know, whatever you see, yes. The complexes, this inferiority complex and spirituality complex, this haughtiness and what is what is man? Even if apparently he is doing something, actually the motive behind it is to show off, to dominate, to be more prominent. He is delivering a very good speech, but what, what for? To be more prominent among the people, so that people should praise him. Oh, he is a very good speaker. Maybe out of this faculty of good speaking, public speaking, he can, he can become a dictator. These are the motives. No high motives visible in this society, number one, or taught in psychology. But Allah says no. Now Allah is presenting four examples. Example of Nuh alayhi salam, Watin, by the fig. Fig tree, as well as the Mount Fig, where you know this nation of Nuh was inhabited, there were a lot of fig trees, and that Mount was called Mount of Fig. Was that one and olive, and the Mount of Olive, 
باؤٹ آف ہالی مسٹر ایئر وہ ہے زیتون ویئر عیسا علیہ السلام یوز ٹو پریچ بتور سی نین لک ٹو دس باؤٹ آف سینا ویئر موزز واز ان کنورسیشن ود از لارڈ بہادر بنا دل امین اینڈ بیفور یو از دس پیسفل سٹی آف مکہ یو فائن محمد ان اٹ If there was nothing high in human beings, where from have they come up? Are they not the human beings? Was Nuh a mean or base person? Was Isa a mean or base person? Was Musa a mean or base person? Is Muhammad before you, your own eyes? Is he a mean or base person? So you must admit that these are the oaths but on what these oaths have been taken laqad khalaqnal insana fi ahsan taqwi verily we created man in the best nature and best mold ahsan is the superlative degree the best but this denotes to the real man not the visible man the visible man is this body The real man is within it. Man in his ignorance identifies himself with the material sheets which encompass his real self. Really, when I say I, I denote to myself. وَلَا تَكُونُ كَالَّذِينَ نَسُوا اللَّهَ فَانْسَاهُمْ أَنفُسَهُ وَلَعَيْكَ هُمُ الْفَاسِقُونَ That was created at the highest level. higher than the angels and the highest was the spirit of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam but then summa radarnahu asfala safilin but then we threw it down lowest than the low low than the lowest the lowest than the low of the low this regards this our animal existence is at a lesser level than the angels then at a about lesser level than the jinns they were created out of fire they were created out of clay and that is why iblis said ana khairu minhu khalaqtani min narin wa khalaqtahu min teen how can i bow before him now this is the combination the two extremes the highest coming from there and the lowest coming from this clay joined together this is man So now, what's the makhraj? What's the way out? إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ Now he has to climb from this low level to reach to his original stature, original station, original level. He has to work hard. And that is through iman and amal salih. He has to ascend. ascend higher and higher up and two things illa allazina amanu wa amilus salihat they are not the lowest of the low no 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 they will be highest of the high in the hereafter illa allazina amanu wa amilus salihat fa lahum ajrun ghairu mamnun for them there is going to be a reward which will never come to an end an ending reward فما يكذبك بعد بالدين well what what after this makes you oh man belay the recompense there must be recompense whosoever is doing this he is going higher and higher through his iman and amal saleh and jihad this is a jihad to ascend you have been thrown in the low if somehow you fall into a ditch you slip from some mountain you are there in the ditch Then you try, come, come up. You don't keep lying over there. If you are dead, that's a different story. But if you are still alive, you climb. So here we were thrown down from that high level. We have to climb up, and this climbing is this amal saleh, tawasi bil haq, tawasi bil sabr, this jihad fi sabil Allah. This is actually by which you you can regain your original position. 
So then, whosoever does it, he must be recompensed. Alayhi sallallahu bi akam al hakimin is not Allah, the greatest ruler of all the rulers, or the best judge of all the judges. Bala, we should say answer, yes, why not? And I add here, Bala, in Allah huwa akam al hakimin wa huwa akam al rahibin. What we want is mercy. Maybe according to the strict judgment, we, not, we might not be able to claim salvation. So not only hukum of Allah, but the mercy of Allah. I suddenly add this. I have to take refuge in His mercy.